Look at that little guy. Wow, how rude. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and on this one, I'm going to be showing you the best fish art build for our raids on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Now, this Pokemon could actually be better than King Gambit in raids, and you'll find out why in this video. So let's find out where to get him. Oh wow, sorry if I was boring you. So to get fish art, you want to come right here on the map, so just fly over to North Province Area 2. And then just look around in this location and eventually you'll find a Bisharp. Okay, we finally found one. So we're just going to encounter it. Now, when you encounter your Bisharp, make sure it's a Steel type Terror because that's what we're going to be using and you don't want to waste 50 shards. So we're just going to go ahead and catch that and then we're going to get into the build. Get me out of this laggy forest. The only thing worse than a laggy forest is a forest that lags. So before we get into the actual build, if you enjoy videos like this, the builds, the shiny videos, the guides, make sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss another video. There are plenty more where that came from. And if you want to join the Discord, I can help you out even more. You could come have some fun over there or just show off your shinies and show off your guides and all that good stuff. It'd be amazing to have you over there. Link in the description. Onto the build. So like I said, we have our Steel Type Terror. It's going to be the best Terror for us it's gonna be the terror i prefer anyway like we do have some good dark type moves like night slash but the iron head on this build is just gonna be better and with that 30 percent chance to flinch you can't really complain so the item we're gonna be using is gonna be the evil light now this item is gonna be the main reason why this could potentially be better than king gambit and what this item does is if we can evolve again, it increases our defense and special defense by 50%. Now people normally only really use this on Chansey, but because of the new introduction to Pokemon like Primeape and Bisharp, it brings around a whole new conversation of being able to use this item. So it's defense and special defense right now, at 100 defense and 70 special defense. But after this item, we're looking at 150 defense and 105 special defense, which is just incredible. And we still have 125 attack, so it's just nuts. And this is 30 more defense than King Gambit and 20 more special defense while only sacrificing 10 attack. We do sacrifice an offensive item, but that's gonna be fine. And I want you to put in the comments which build you prefer, a King Gambit or a Bisharp with Eviolite. Now to get the Eviolite, you just wanna fly over to Mesagoza and we're gonna be coming to the Deli Bird present shop in Mesagoza. We have made it and I just want you to go inside there, click on the old battle items, scroll down and you can buy it for 50,000 poker dollars and then you just wanna equip it onto your Bisharp. Next up, make your way over to the Chansey Supply Shop in Mesagoza, because we're going to be changing our nature. Here we are, just go inside there. Scroll down until you get to the first set of mints. It's going to be the red mints and buy an adamant mint if you don't already have one. And equip it onto your Bisharp. This will raise its attack and decrease its special attack. We aren't a special attacker. All our damage is going to come from our physical attacks. So like I said there, up and attack, down in special attack. And now we can move on to the EVs. So the EVs we're going to be running are going to be HP and attack. HP to maximize that chance of surviving and attack to do more damage. Now to get your EV items, come back in the Chansey Supply Shop, buy 26 HP ups and 26 proteins. This will get you max HP and max attack. This will cost you 520,000 Poké Dollars, however, so it is a bit expensive, and I'm gonna show you an alternative way to doing it, where if you're training six Pokemon at once, you can actually save yourself over three million Poké Dollars. So just go to any Deli Bird shop, click on General Goods, go to the bottom. There'll be your power items, buy the power weight and the power bracer. These are your EV training items for your HP and attack they give you eight evs per kill so if you kill something with one ev like a lechunk you'll get nine instead of one so i'm going to show you where to ev train hp and attack real quick i could actually do it there because there's an outbreak but i won't be doing so put a waypoint right here fly over the lighthouse and make your way over and there's two ways you can do this you can take out the lechunk which give one ev each on nine with the item or you can do what i prefer to do and come down here near this water and once you get to the water, you will find Azuril. Now, if you activate an encounter power level two sandwich, tons of Azurils spawn and you can kill them instead. If you want to make some money while you're at it, get a level 100 Persian, equip the amulet coin to it, teach it payday, use PP up twice on your payday, it will go to 28, which is the exact number of the Azuril we're going to need to kill. 
And when the 28 drops to zero, you'll have 28 gram more than you had before. And you'll have a max EV and HP. What more could you want? Except for attack EVs. So I'm going to show you where to get them right now. So I'll fly over to South Province Area 3. And then we're going to be looking around for a Shinx. Oh, there's a family of them up there. So when you take out the Shinx, you get one attack EV on nine with the item. And we're going to be activating an encounter power electric level two sandwich. And then tons of Shinx will spawn and you'll get it in no time. Take out 28 of them and you'll have another 28 grand and another max EV. And then we can move on to our IVs. So to check your IVs, go in your main menu, click on boxes, hover over your Bishop, click the plus button until it goes to the screen on the top right. If it says hyper trained or best, you have a max IV. If it says anything else, you will need a bottle cap. Except for special attack, we're not gonna use it, so we'll just leave it blank. None of our damage comes from it, even though we do have a special attacking move. And if you see any young goose or growlith in this area, you can take those out as well, because they give attack EVs as well. Now that you found out how many IVs you need to max out, head to any deli bird shop. Okay, so you're at your deli bird shop, go inside, click on general goods, the first item will be the bottle cap, however many max IVs you need, buy a bottle cap for each one of them, each bottle cap is one max IV, saving yourself some money is always a good thing, and then head over to Montenegro. Once you're here, speak to the person next to the bomber snow, he will hyper train your Pokemon, click your Bishop, then click bottle caps, click HP, attack, defense, special defense and speed, and then click start the training you can do special attack if you want we do have a special attacking move which is going to be snarl but it's not going to be a damaging move it's going to be a defensive move so i don't really see the point and our special attack is only a third of our attack so i'm not going to do it you can do it if you want I'll leave it completely up to you. Moving on to the ability. So we have three abilities. Our first ability is inner focus. That means we can't flinch. Our second ability will be defiant. This increases our attack by two stages when one of our stats is lowered. And our third ability is gonna be pressure. And every time someone attacks us, they lose two PP instead of one PP. Their PP runs out quicker. Pressure isn't really useful in raids. And inner focus, uh, not really that good compared to defiant. Defiant's going to power us up massively if we're against a Pokemon that reduces our stats. Moving on to the moveset. We have Iron Head, Iron Defense, Sword Stance and Snarl. Iron Head's going to be our main attacking move, our Steel type move, 80 power, 100 accuracy, 30% chance to flinch. It's going to be a really good move. Iron Defense is going to be our physically defensive move. Increases our defense by two stages every time we use it. Not that we need it. We're on 150 defense with our item. Sword Stance, that will boost our attack by two stages every time we use that. That will be our offensive setup move. And Snarl will be our special defensive move. Every time we attack, it reduces their special attack attack by one stage and it gets us one of our terrestrial eyes. Now sword stance, iron defense and iron head we can learn all through level up so we'll just get to level 100 relearn all of them. As for snarl unfortunately we're going to need to learn this through TM but it's the only move we need through TM so it's not really going to take that long. So come to any Pokemon Center come to the green section the TM machine go to your dark section go to TM30 it will cost us three mastery fangs and three squawkabilly feathers so let's hunt them down. So we're going to be flying over to South Province area for Watchtower for our Mastiff Fangs. And around this tower you will find your Mastiffs. There's one right over there straight away. We'll just take them out and you will get your Mastiff Fangs. Moving on to the Squawkabilly Feathers. So Squawkabilly come to the right side of the map. Fly over to Artisan East. We're going to be coming right here on the map. As soon as it says East Province area 1 you will have a chance of finding the Squawkabillies. So just have a look around. Head into the waypoint that I put on, because that's essentially where you want to go. Uh, here's a pack of them, so we're just going to take out these. And would you look at that, we got some Squawkabilly feathers and we're ready to go. Smash the like button if you are enjoying this video so far. And let's get into them raids. Oh, here we go. Battle of the defenses. This Pokemon's just going to be a pain because of its high defense. I think it's got the best defense on the entire game. But we're going to see how it goes. It's going to be a six star fairy type Avalog. Let's get straight into it. So first move is going to be Iron Defense because it is a physical attacker. Let's see how much damage this doesn't do. 18 damage. Wonderful. We're going to use Star Stance again. So we're on plus four attack. He's going to Icicle Crash us. And now it's time to use Iron Head. Just as I thought, Avalog's a monster. I guess this is going to be the waiting game. See how long uh, we can last. There's another Iron Head. Actually doing some decent damage. Ha. Huh. Get paralyzed. I think I'm going to wait until it removes all our positive effects from us. And then I will set up an Iron Defense and then free Swords Dances maybe. But for now we're just going to Terrestrialize. Come on. How much damage are we doing? Six billion. That's actually a decent amount of damage considering he's got a shield up. Stop using Snowscape. It's already snowing. Oh no. The old Iron Defense. Well you know what? To complete this game. Game, I'll just use another sound stance and you will not use iron defense again 
Guys, I'm sorry if this is like too much of an exciting raid. Like so, so many things are going on in this raid. Like you might need to like pause it, take a little bit of a break, catch your breath again. I won't be surprised if I was taken it away with this raid. So we're gonna use Iron Head again. We're just trying to get that shield off at the minute. We haven't got one flinch yet and it's 30% chance. He's nullified us, no. So we're gonna Iron Defense again because our buff went. You see how much that Eevee Light is helping out? We take no damage. We're gonna use Sars Dance. We're gonna use Sars Dance again. We're going to use Sal's Dance a third time. And now we're on max attack, plus six. It's a bit of a pain that he did use the Iron Defense. And now we can start using Iron Heads again. Watch now, it'll just nullify straight away. We've got this. Another Iron Head. He sets his Snow Skate back up. There goes another Iron Head. One more, it should break the shield. Please just get one flinch. Oh, it's not broken the shield. He nullifies already. Looks like we're going to have to set up again. There's the Iron Defense. There's the first Sars Dance. There's the second Sars Dance. I'm trying to wait and hoping that one of the people on my team just finish the shield off, like Heracross. There's the third Sars Dance, and now we're back on max. None of them finished the shield off in four turns. So we're going to have to do it with an Iron Head. Is that a crit? Damn straight, it's a crit. The shield goes down. Not that we needed it, but where are our flinches? Does he have enough focus? Am I tripping? We use Iron Head again, and now we just need one more Iron Head and he's gone. Ice defense on the game. You got out defensed by a mile. Have a lug, more like have a gun, because it's gone. Second raid. So this is going to be a bit of a tricky one because of its hidden ability, unaware, but we have a six star Clodzire that's a fairy type. Let's get straight into it. And I just want you to know in advance, if I'm facing any raid Pokemon that has Yawn or anything that puts you to sleep, I'm not having a good time in that raid. I'm miserable the whole time. Do have an Arcanine, which is decent. No point in using Iron Defense, it won't matter. So we're just going to get straight in there with Sars Dance. Of course he yawns us. And then he nullifies instantly. This is going to be fun. We're going to use Sars Dance again, and we're asleep. Time for the heal up. We're going to use Sars Dance again. I wanted to be on plus four before we started attacking. I think with the amount of damage he does, I can get enough Iron Heads away here to a point where I get my Terrestrial Eyes. That did a lot of damage. I thought it was a crit at first. His shield's gone up after one attack. Wow. Double Yarn in us. Terrible behavior. We're going to use Iron Head again. See how much damage. It's doing a decent little chunk to the shield as well. He uses Yarn. Three back-to-back -back Yarns. Two of them fail. You, my friend. You. No, you're not even my friend. You. Disgraceful behavior. We're going to heal up, get rid of that sleep. Oh, the Abolivers finally got his Seed Sower out. And now we're going to use Iron Head again. Please, just flinch. One flinch. Just one. Hey, guys. What do you call a Pokemon that wants to be a police officer? A Magic Cup. <laughs> I'm here all week. We're going to Terrestrialize here and get a big hit away. By the way, if any of you didn't laugh at that, I'm, ash I'm ashamed in you. Let's see how much this does. Hopefully, it does at least half of the shield. It does about half of the shield. He uses Earthquake. He nullifies all the stats on our side. We're going to use our last heal. So we're going to kick it off with a sword stance. Now that all our stats have been nullified. Don't use Yarn, just use Earthquake. Thank you. It's not going to use Earthquake again. I'm going to use Sword Dance because we've actually got a free move here because it didn't use Yarn. This will put us on plus four attack. There's the Yarn. Our next attack breaks the shield, surely. And we're staying on top of our health because of this Arboliver. Let's see how much Iron Head does. Please break the shield. Boom. Oh, it did more than break the shield. We got a crit and it takes it to red and we just need one more attack and it's done. It uses Earthquake. Because of the Arcanine's Intimidate, it's not doing as much damage as it could. And now we just need to wake up to finish the raid. We wake up and the raid's over. And the Clodzire faints. Goodbye, Clodzire. I hope I never see you again. You're a pain to fight in raids. No Mr. Kifra troubles. Disgraceful. Now let's move on to that third raid. Oh, this one's going to be a fun. We've got a six-star Rock-type Blissey. Can't wait to destroy this thing. Let's get straight into it. And don't you put me to sleep, Miss Blissey. So we're going to start off with a Sars Dance. No point in uh, setting up a Snarl because it has Seismic Toss. It sets up a Light Screen. That's only good for us, wasting an attack. We're going to use another Sars Dance. We avoid the sing. Let's go. It uses Defense Curl, which is not good. We're going to use Sars Dance. We are now on a Max Attack. Dazzling gleam, like a dazzling meme, because it's laughable. <laughs> right, we're going to use go all out. I just want to see how much damage we can do. It would help if it hadn't have used the defense curl. Let's see the damage. Boom. About half. Okay. You shall miss. There we go. Miss the sing. Speak it into existence. It's used defense curl again. Now, this is cheating. You don't get to use twice in one raid. 
We're going to use Iron Head to do a bit of damage to the shield. I just want to get my terrestrial eyes now. Light screen doesn't affect us. Another Iron Head. Why are we not getting flinches? It's 30% flinch chance, and we've not got one the whole time we've been playing. Damn raid hacks. I swear six star raids just have hacks. Never hurt themselves in confusion, never flinch. But we have terrestrialized. Let's see how much damage Iron Head does now. So it's doing over half to the shield. That's amazing. Removes negative effects from itself. That's all right. Don't nullify us. It uses Sing, it misses again. <laughs> Wasn't even attacking me, but still. And we're going to finish it off with one more Iron Head. And hopefully get five Mysticas. Calling it right now, so it's in the universe. And that's Blissey over with. Ready for this? Five Mystica. Can we get a five Mystica? Five Mystica. Going once, going twice. Wow, we got three Mystica. That's amazing. Wow, I did not actually expect to get that many. Incredible. Now, if you thought this build was cool, you might want to check out another one of my builds. We've got tons of builds on the channel. I'm going to put a claw. It's a build on screen right now. And believe it or not, there's four different builds for this Pokemon. Because it's absolutely amazing in raids. So go check that out and I'll catch you on the next one.